Good morning. It is 7.30 and I want to make sure we get a good spot at the parking lot for Rendezvous at Mount Bachelor. So we're just going to roll right on out of here where I parked for the night. But enough talk, let's head to the mountain. All right, on my way now to the mountain from where I parked last night. Normally I would just park at the base of the mountain if they allow it, which Mount Bachelor does. But uh, since it's Rendez Band this weekend and I did not book soon enough to get a spot overnight, um, I had to park slightly down the road, but it's not a big deal because there's a snow park that you can park at less than a mile down the road from the, the village or from the base area. So that's just where I parked. So it was been no problem really. The road is really crabby this morning though. This is not a fun drive. It snowed last night, it's great for the mountain. Uh, could be a good ski day, but not fun for driving there. But luckily it's a short distance, so it won't take too long. Made it to the mountain, despite the road being not super great, but it was all right. You know, I didn't have super high hopes for today, just based on how driving here was, but looks like clouds broke and it's like gonna be a sunny, warm day. So gonna be a great day at Rondé Van. See, check this out, look at it. I've skied here the past three days and have not been able to see the top of that chairlift at all, let alone the summit. But maybe I'll even get to ski the summit today, which will be sick. But first I gotta do a little bit of work and make breakfast. On the menu today, we got a breakfast burrito and a protein shake, my go-to for ski days. Nothing too fancy, but I don't usually like making fancy stuff on ski days because I usually have to work and then also go skiing. First, I usually make a protein shake though. I usually start off every morning with a protein shake just so you know, get protein early in the day. Nothing fancy, just milk and then this giant bag of whey. One scoop. A little, a little extra protein this morning. Oh, one and a half. Sounds good. Now we shake. <laughs> Kidding me? I don't really do anything too fancy with eggs on ski days. Typically just like a easy scramble. So I just crack them into this bowl. Don't do that. And then salt before when you're scrambling eggs. And we just take our whisk and we get down to some whiskey business. Then we'll turn on the pan to make sure it's getting nice and hot. That's all whisked. Now we just gotta wait for the pan to get hot. I'll just use some spray oil. This is where I keep all like my spices and oils and stuff. So this is actually a shower and bathroom that I use for after skiing or mountain biking or whatever, but I didn't want to lose all that space. So I kind of just turned it into a closet slash pantry slash shower. It's a little bit of everything, but it works great for me. So grab some oil and then we're gonna throw some of this stuff in there today, which is a Logan Ma spicy chili crisp. If you don't know what this is, or if you've never had that, this will change your life. You definitely gotta try this stuff. You can typically get it at an either like an Asian market or you can get it just on Amazon. I'll, I'll put a link in the description if you wanna try it out. Pan's nice and hot now, so ready to cook some eggs. Just give them a spray. And then I actually whisk my eggs when they're in the pan cooking too, because when they're in a breakfast burrito, I like my eggs to be small curd. Don't worry though, this is a silicone whisk, not a metal whisk on a nonstick pan. I would never commit such an atrocity as that. Once they're all about cooked, then you can stop whisking and then grab the spatula, mix it all up like you would normally do for eggs. It's eggs, it's not that hard. I don't really need to explain how to cook eggs. Ground black pepper. Freshly ground is always better than the pinch stuff. And then some, a little bit more salt. Got to scoop out some of this spicy chili crisp. Here's what it looks like. It's a little bit spicy, not super spicy, um, but it's a really great savory umami flavor. So it's great on eggs. I use it on stir fry and grilled cheese. Some people have even put it on vanilla ice cream. I don't know, I've tried it once and it was actually better than I'd like to admit. So definitely worth trying that stuff. It's so good. That's about it. They're pretty much done. And that's it. Now we just wrap it. Voila, there's breakfast. This is my typical ski breakfast. So I'll just make one of these before going out to ski pretty much every time. Um, just got breakfast burrito, protein shake, and then some kind of fruit today. We got a banana. That's good stuff. Really powers you up and fuels up for a nice long ski day. Now I know what some of you guys are thinking already. Oh, this guy's not a real ski bum. He has a really nice expensive van and he doesn't live on the mountain. You're right. I mean, I'm not traditional ski bum and I'm totally okay with that. My goal for the winter is to ski as much as possible 
and the way that I make that work is by traveling around in this van here while still working a remote job that allows me to ski at a whole bunch of different mountains. I've skied at over 30 different resorts this winter already and it's an amazing experience and I'm still camping out and sleeping in most mountain parking lots when they allow it and skiing six days a week so and if that doesn't qualify for your traditional definition of a ski bum that's okay with me I still meet so many people on the road on chairlifts and in the lodges making so many friends skiing wherever I'm at and it's how I prefer to travel it's just really been an amazing experience with that said I'm going to finish up breakfast do a little bit of work and then uh, hit the mountain go even though I live in a van and travel full-time I still have a quote-unquote normal adult job working as a software engineer and so I needed to make sure that I always had good internet and I wanted to have an actual like office space to do work so with that I came up with this little office so I got the swivel chair and then we got my 27 inch external computer monitor and then this table swings out and then I grab my laptop and now I'm ready to do work Sadly, I have a couple meetings I have to get out of the way before I can head out and ski today, and then I have to do a little bit more work, but it should only be a couple hours, and it's not even 8 o'clock yet. So I'll work for a couple hours, and then we'll be good to hit the slopes. Just finished working for about three hours or so. Just about ready to head out the slopes, and I'm making my lunch. Always gotta go with the ever classic squished peanut butter and jelly sandwich in the pocket. With how often I ski, if I were to buy lodge food every time, I would be extremely broke. $30 for a thing of chicken nuggets. Uh, so yeah, so I, this is what I usually do. Just always make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and then I have a Clementine or a Cliff Bar or something. And that holds me over until I make dinner later. Since I only worked three hours this morning, normally I would go back to work after skiing. Um, but today is Friday, and I worked enough hours earlier in the week that I don't have to. I work as a software engineer, and my schedule is pretty flexible. So as long as I get all my work done that I need to, uh, make any meetings that I may have, my hours are flexible. So it's not as important when during the day that I work. So I do usually do like two or three hours in the morning, and then I'll go back to work after skiing for another couple of hours to finish off the day. Honestly, like a really great van life ski life kind of schedule. So I'm very thankful for a job where I kind of get to make my own schedule like that because it's what allows me to live this kind of lifestyle. All right, let's hit it. All right, this is where I keep my skis. In the garage back here, I store them under here. I got two pairs of skis. I got a pair of Ben Chetler 120 powder skis and then Nordica 104 enforcers. I think I'll go enforcers today. I walk up this hill. No fun. All right, we made it. We're here at Mount Bachelor on a hot spring day. So the snow is very wet right now. So probably not going to do anything super crazy. Just going to be like a chill, chill spring day. Just trying to have, have some fun, but nothing too crazy. They're bombing the summit right now. And so we'll see if that opens up for a little bit later. That would be sick if it does, but we'll see. If not, it'll still be a good day. Just finished the first run and this snow is wet. So wet. It's at the point where it's like you're going down and you feel it gripping your skis and wanting to like push, like throw you forward. So I'm wondering if I should have brought the fat boys to try and surf some of it a little bit better. Uh, but. The 104 is all I have to do for today. I mean, I could just go back down to the van and get them out, but that sounds like a lot of work right now. And I don't know how long I'll ski today. Cause when you go off the groom trails right now, it's like the snow just wants to grip the skis and like throw you forward. So, eh, we'll, we'll see. Usually I don't have a ride groomers, but may have to ride a couple today. We'll see. But any day is a good day to be out on the slopes though. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of spring skiing. I'll take a cold, windy, overcast, winter day with good snow over a bluebird warm sunny spring day any day of the week it's really just all about the snow quality snow is wet and heavy today so i'm guessing the action shots i'm getting today are looking super great just because it's it's kind of boring terrain so because of that here's some actual cool skiing shots from earlier this season when the snow was actually good
Just got back from skiing for a couple hours. Uh, changed out of the ski gear, and I'm back in the van chilling now. Uh, let me tell you, one of the best things about living in a van at the bottom of the ski lot is as soon as you're done skiing, you can make yourself whatever snack you want because all of your food is right here. Seriously though, this has got to be like the biggest perk of ski van life. So today, one of my go-to snacks is just mixing up some fat-free cottage cheese and some salsa. It may sound gross or like a weird combination, um, and I thought it was kind of strange at first too, but now it's like one of my go-tos when I need a like a high protein, low calorie snack. You just mix like half and half cottage cheese and salsa, and then you stir it up. And then I eat it with Triscuits typically. So I just calculated the macros for this and it's around 300 calories with 16 grams of protein and five grams of fat. May not look the best, but I promise if you try it, it's good. Now the plan is just to chill for a little bit, eat my snack, uh, and then I'm gonna shower and head over to Rendez Van. So right now the reason why I'm skiing at Mount Bachelor is because of this uh, van life festival called Rendez Van, which is kind of like a combo skiing, van life, mute festival with music and tents and food and stuff like that. So once I shower, I'm gonna go head over to the festival grounds and just kind of hang out and chill. So it should be a fun time. So it's been going on the past couple of days. The weather hasn't been super great, but it's nice and sunny and warm today. So today should be a really great day to be outside and in the festival. So I'm excited to get out there. So we're going to take a shower now. And the nice thing about Mount Bachelor is they actually have showers right here at the base of the mountain. So I don't even need to use the one in my van or try and find a rec center anywhere. Just go right to the showers at the base and be good to go. Not too bad. A little bit wet in here, but at least clean looking. You do gotta pay for, so it's like $5 for five minutes, which is a little bit expensive, but it's a hot shower and I don't have to use my own water or go anywhere else, so seems worth it. I'll be back once I'm clean. All right, walking through the festival grounds now, and there's just like so much good food here, and there's a lot of people here right now. That's awesome, it's gonna be a good time. There's so many dogs, love the dogs. So many, amazing. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of what we see. This place is sick. Definitely beats what I usually do, which is go back to the van and work more after skiing. I'll take this over work any day. So, getting kind of hungry now though, so I think I'm gonna go get some tacos or something. good day just got back into the van after chilling and hanging out at the festival for a little while they had some live music and then i got dinner there usually on a ski day i'll just cook my own dinner here but since i was at the festival and already over there figured i would get some some tacos and some dumplings and some other food while i was over there and they were all really good i just left the mountain since i'm not allowed to overnight park there without a reservation and I couldn't get one because I booked too late. So I'm just at this snow park like a mile down the road. So not too far of a drive, not too bad. And now we're getting ready for bed. I think I'll probably just like 
watch TV in bed or something, and then uh, it'll be time for sleep, and then we repeat again tomorrow. And if you're wondering how I stay warm in the van at night while I'm camping, like, up in the mountain and it gets to be below freezing temperatures. I actually have a heater in the van and the floor, walls, and ceiling are all spray foam insulated. So it stays pretty toasty in here actually once I have that heater kicked on. I usually only have it on between like levels one and three and it goes up to six and it's plenty warm in here. So I'll show you how I watch TV from the bedroom quickly and then I'll just chill for the rest of the night until tomorrow. If you've stayed to this long in the video, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, so if you did like this video, make sure you hit the like button down below. And if you wanna see more van life and travel and just day in the life van type content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Or if you wanna see the rest of my van, just go ahead and click that button to watch the full van tour of everything that I have in the van and how I built it out. Thanks so much, you guys. I'll see you next time.